kudos from so the writers. So we have our opinions, we should post them. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, good or bad. We can take it. I guess I will start. Yeah, yeah. Drive in. Do the uh, orphan black pressing, everyone. I do thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Um, <laughs> now, this is a fantastic series. We're clearly all very fans of fans of this. Um, uh, but there's always that stigma of, of sci-fi with Hollywood. There still is. Uh, rarely an Emmy nomination. Tatiana's getting massive buzz, winning the Critics' Choice Award. Uh, what do you think her chances are of uh, getting an Emmy nod out of that? Oh, well, you know, she came out. Oh, I'm seeing it. Oh, did she? Oh, did she? she? Did she? No. oh sorry. Travis. I missed that. Travis. Not to get an extra ball. Yeah, they didn't see it. What are your thoughts on that? The, the, like, uh, the whole thing, they sort of have an anti sci fi thing. I don't know. Yeah. I guess we don't really consider it a scandal. Mm -hmm. um, we're what? really a scandal. Yeah. Scandal. <laughs> <laughs> um, a group in the in scandal ballet. No, something else. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Um, you know, uh, we're really we're really happy to be in the conversation. Mm -hmm. um, and the fact, you know, that it's a snub. Mm -hmm. It's people are talking about the snub. Yeah. It's great. It's it's good for the show. And we're the, it's our first year. Yeah. We're not that surprised yeah. really. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I I certainly I think that it's just cool that we're you know we our little wacky sci-fi show is kind of even being considered <laughs> with all these other really cool shows like you know uh, like Mad Men and Breaking Bad and all these shows that we really love and uh, um, and so it's we're just kind of excited that people like us enough to. <laughs> to, to, to be outraged, yeah, right, you know, yeah. all these people are like yeah. we're outraged, and we're like, wow, that's really yeah, awesome. Yeah. Like yeah. People are outraged. One, a of, travesty, yes. one of the really cool things about that, though, is, and you're totally true, because obviously social media has like blown this thing open wide. Yeah. But what I love seeing is I'm following the Orphan Black official Twitter account is every, like almost every day they're retweeting some other famous person, whether it's an, you know, like big names, you know, the, the writers, the directors, the actors who are just like, oh my God, Tatiana's great, the show is great. Yeah. And and those people get to their followers and it's just, it has to be pretty um, amazing for you guys to know that, you know, you've got what you've got out there for, you know, for promotion, but it's just doing itself, the, the wave is carrying it. For a show that barely got made, like we barely got this show made, like nobody wanted to make this show. Um, and it's just a little tiny show. It's not like a big budget. It's a little tiny show. Um, it's really phenomenal. It's this unbelievable thing that's that's happened, you know. And part of it's just having a cool concept and a lot of love and passion. And then the other part of it's um, Tatiana. <laughs> you can't. You, you, no matter what happens, you, you know, uh, you can't take away what she managed to pull off for us. And uh, um, and it's great that these really like exceptional creative people are are recognizing what it took for her to pull, pull that off so seamlessly. Mm -hmm. All right. So so now what's next on the horizon? What's coming up for season two? Like we're gonna tell you. Come on. <laughs> like we're gonna tell you. The oh, you can we, hint. You can give us some our, ideas. We want a number of clones. Yes. <laughs> mm, clones. I think there might be some clones next season. Well, we, you know, we're a clone show. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we really uh, loved developing um, the different characters with Tat. Um, and I, it's safe to say that, uh, you know, as a clone show, we'd love to meet uh, another new clone. Yeah. But we don't take our clones lightly. Yeah. We work hard to create an interesting character. We don't want to line them up and knock them down. Uh, that's not what the, you know, that's not what our, uh, that's not the way we treat the concept of cloning. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, you know, I think that's, I think it's safe to say <laughs> we'd love to meet a new clone next well, year. Well, plus you, you, you just can't get enough of the girl, right? That's right. right. So yeah. See the girl do more stuff, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. she's she's got mad talents, right? Yeah. Uh, she's phenomenal. Got sort of mad yeah. talents. So we want to see her do spread her wings more in season two, and um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, I I I think that for us, I think that we, the mystery and the conspiracy is a really important part of the plot. But we've all, always been super invested in our characters and the relationships mm -hmm. between them, and. Um, and it's part of really the the, the, the thing that makes the, made the show exciting for us as a as a creative t you know what a, as a concept, but uh, from a creative point of view, is that um, 
that one actor would play all these different parts. So mm -hmm. it was really important that these parts were like really like dense and layered mm -hmm. and had really interesting backstories and, and then created really um, complex relationships with each other, you know? And that's, that's, you know, and whatever you can say, Allison's the soccer mom, but there's so many other aspects to that, to, mm -hmm. to, to her that, um, you know, that, and, and, and then you got Tatiana who breathes life into the characters and into the writing. It's great. We, we really enjoyed, like, for instance, unpacking a character like Allison this year. We've got more unpacking to do on, mm -hmm. on the characters that we have. She's a gas. She's awesome. <laughs> She's great. She's uh, a gas. And, you know, I think, too, for season two, it's probably safe to say that, um, you know, Kira is missing at the end of season one. We're not going to, like, skip ahead a year and find Sarah, like, you know, Leaning against the bar, crying in a in her whiskey. Right. Yeah. We're gonna hit the ground, and she's gonna mm -hmm. be running. Um, she's uh, she's got a lot of people after her, and she's got um, you know her heart is missing. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you? I know you did the casting process, obviously, and Tatya came in and stole it. But when you were writing this, or when you were developing this in your mind, of thinking, okay, clones, we obviously aren't gonna use CG for this, you know, to create. Mm -hmm a different person, we need to find a talent who can do this and pull this off. Yeah. Did you think you'd be able to find someone when you did, or did you think this is just going to be impossible? Who's the next Meryl Streep? Well, I think I think we were both nervous about it. Like, I think we were both, like, really excited about it, but then nervous about it as well, because, you know, you, you, we, you know that you make a mistake casting this, and you're kind of done, right? It's done. It's It, it just becomes a joke. And we didn't, uh, you know... So you, we just worked really hard casting it. Every every once in a while, though, in developing the show, we just look at each other and go, oh "My God, what if we, we got it?" Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know, you could you could yeah. you could. Uh, it, it's it's really a production kind of nightmare. There and there was. I mean, the bottom line is there was no show if we couldn't find a performer that everybody agreed on. Our <laughs> our uh, producers at Temple Street mm -hmm. um, in Toronto and um, both our networks. Yeah. We all had to agree, and by the end of that audition process, it was clear cut, which, um, there was no dissenting. We all agreed that this is uh, the girl we move forward on. I think and then we move forward, and she continued to knock our socks off during the process, yeah. and we, we realized how far um, we could go with, with her talent. Um, and, and, and in the process, like, just about, like we really, she worked so bloody hard, so bloody hard. I, I had cast her in uh, the sequel to a uh, feature film that I made called Ginger Snaps. Mm -hmm. So she was in Ginger Snaps too, and I met her when she was 18, 17 mm -hmm. or 18, something like that. And she was super talented, like playing this wacky, weird little, <laughs> you know, character who turned out to be a killer psycho girl with braces. <laughs> and. Uh, and so we had known each other for a long time, and so we were. I was aware of Tat and and, and how skilled she was. And uh, but it was it was interesting because because your head's down in the show and you're just doing that the whole time. I hadn't, and I knew the clone scenes were working. Like I could see them working. I was in the edit suite. I was sat with, you know, in all the all we all the various directors that would come in doing doing different scenes. Um, and going, wow, th this is really working. Like, this is actually, am I, you know, because I actually did, you, 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 things you worry about when you haven't done it before, you go, are people just going to go, it's the same actor playing two different parts, or are they just going to get sucked into it? You get right. sucked into it. Oh, absolutely. I was getting sucked into it, and I was, I shot the stuff, right? <laughs> and then by episode nine, I started realizing, I hadn't really, you know, you, you don't think about, like, how, I wasn't even thinking about how people were going to respond to it at all. By episode nine, I started going, oh my God, she's going to win awards for this. <laughs> yeah. I really thought that because there's, episode nine is one of my favorite episodes for TAP because there's so many, so many complex emotional beats going on and, and interactions between the girls that it's, it's very like, it's really woven tightly mm -hmm. and she's in every single scene right. talking to herself or... You know, yeah. it's it's wild. Yeah, can you talk about those scenes shot with the uh, we saw a little bit about on the DVD and mm -hmm. in, in uh, magazines they talked about you know using the doubles and scenes. How, uh, can you talk about the, those scenes like like you start with one character obviously and then, then you have to shoot each character individually and yeah. how does that process go about and how, like how long does it take? And... 
Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's, it's, it's a little technical, okay. but um, I'll try and explain it as briefly as I, or succinctly as I can. Mm -hmm. Essentially, when you sh shoot a, a scene, you would get your actors together and you'd block the scene, which means that you figure out where everyone's gonna sit and talk and where they're gonna move and who's gonna come and go when and work out this, the, the rhythm of the dialogue and the, you know, uh, and then figure out how you're gonna shoot it. So where the cameras are gonna go, we're gonna shoot a wide shot here, we're gonna get a three shot, and then we're gonna come around here and we're gonna shoot a single, you know, yeah. the process. Mm -hmm. So, but it's a bit different when one actor's playing all of the parts. We start with our, our main uh, act, Tat's main acting double is a woman by the name of Catherine Alexander, mm -hmm. who is an unbelievably talented girl who has a completely thankless job <laughs> because she never gets seen. Yeah. She gets seen sort of, if you see too much of her, mm -hmm. we can't, yeah. she's, we can't she's, use she's it. She's right? acting, she's not doubling, she's acting. She's, she's, all, she's fully acting and she's, and she's picked up like lots of Tat's mannerisms and she's, her and Tat work, it ended up working really well together, which was really important. So she's there generally, if, if there's a third one, if there's a third girl, of course, that's just a whole other. <laughs> I shot the wine pour scene. Right? Oh, Where, yeah. yeah. So that was a, that was a, that, in that scene, it, I think she started the day as Sarah and, um, and Catherine started as Allison and the second double started as Kasima probably. And, um, and we would block the scenes, we, basically with a, a system called the Techno Dolly mm -hmm. that repeats its actions. It's mm -hmm. a camera system that where you shoot it like a normal shot, the crew mm -hmm. does it like a normal shot, and then it memorizes the, okay. you, you know, you, you go, okay, that's our, that's our take. We love that take of it. Uh, and the camera saves that camera move. And then you take the dialogue from that. We've shot all three girls. Mm -hmm. You take the dialogue from that and you edit out Tat's dialogue. So now you only have the two, uh, the two other girls, mm -hmm. and Tat takes an, air, an earpiece and, and basically goes through all her marks with no one else on set. So if I'm looking at you, well, I move you and I put a mark on the wall, gotcha. right? So she has to know when she, she has to repeat all her actions and just wow. instead of looking at you, I'm looking at a mark on the wall. And sometimes you look around the set, there would be like 13, 14, 20 different marks all over on C stands on the wall. And she has to kind of like get all these like eye lines because if I move over here, this eye line over here is different than this eye line over here. Yeah. It's very like for her, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's incredibly technical. Wow. And the fact that she can pull it off is unbelievable. And then you just build the shots in layers, one character after another. So, so yeah. what happens is when you're actually watching, uh, when she gets into the into the hair and makeup and wardrobe of the second character, on the monitor you're watching a composite image. So we're watching by that time we're watching Tatiana act mm -hmm. against Tatiana, yeah. and we can see whether she puts her hand through her own head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it, that's tricky because there was a little. I tried to, in, in the season finale, I really wanted to push it as much as I could and try and create these like little elaborate because I'm a I'm a bit of a geek that way. Like, I really wanted to make, you know, because so there's a shot where Sarah gets up out of a chair, tracks, the camera tracks her to the door. She opens the door. Kasima's there. Kasima steps in and they kind of rotate around each other and then end up talking. And I had to cut, like, I was like, I wanted to see if I could get the hug working. And yeah. I had to cut just before uh, they I actually cut on cut. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But you know that's that's tricky because it's like you have to make sure that they're not in each other's space, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, because they're not together in, on, in, on camera. You have to make sure that they're so you have this composite and yet they image can cross, too. which is really cool. Yeah, I have to say whoever your your dialogue um, your dialect coaches is fantastic because I had absolutely no idea yeah. that Jordan and that Tatiana. You know, I, I knew there was a Canadian production, but I just didn't realize that. They were, you know. Canadian. Well, that well, that's partly so. that's partly him, but that's also kind of the mad skills yeah. of the actors, right? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like the fact that people are blown away that Jordan doesn't have an accent. Yeah. yeah. And My you know what the weirdest like, thing too <laughs> is is that both of them come to set like he comes to set speaking British. <laughs> Honestly, Felix all day. season yeah. long, oh, wow. even at lunch, right? So <laughs> I, any time, like I, th I'd only. Heard him speak without the British accent, like I don't know, a few times. It's so weird. And then you go, 
I've been with you all season. He's <laughs> British, and suddenly you're speaking with this weird American accent. Like, uh, that's kind of trippy. You're yeah. like, oh, knock off the American accent. Come on. <laughs> and and Tat's, Tat's the same. I mean, to keep, she's a little bit methody, not in a weird or a flaky way at all. How else is she going to keep those characters yeah, straight? Yeah, she has to keep them When separate. she's going to yeah. switch during the day, how does she show? So it's really fun. They're like, days, depending on who she is, the set, the, the, the mood around the set is different. If she's Allison, she's you know very uptight and she's you taking directions. Say if, yes. If you, get a chance, if you get a chance to interview, get make her do like what? How do you like what would you physically do to prepare for these characters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Larry's watching her off in the corner. We're gonna see her in a, the we're from the Nerd HQ thing after this. Yeah, yeah she she's got weird little dance. dance. Like little dance. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, in episode four when she's sitting on the couch and they're talking about I was in Steel Magnolias. Mm -hmm. She's yep. in Al with Allison and Felix. She's talking about she's kind of going. Yeah. <laughs> that's so tough, right? That's what she does, right? right. <laughs> and then, and then, like, if Helena's around the set, everybody's like, whoa. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. she, she, she just like, she's got the, the. She comes up all creepy, and comes up like, all you creepy. have to give her, you have to direct her. Watches yeah. the monitor like she's never seen one before. <laughs> <laughs> With Helena finally biting the bullet at the end, mm -hmm. you kind of, you knew she was kind of crazy and misguided in that sense, but you were kind of sad to see her go. Yeah. It was, uh, so sad, what was that like writing that? Sad finale? to see the little monster go, yeah. but, uh, but that, that, that's we, what we was... knew she was going to get shot for the, through the heart, mm -hmm. uh, Always, right? We knew that from always. Very early. But but and but one of the things that we really wanted to do, the thing, the challenge for us, was that we wanted to take essentially what was a killer, assassin, serial killer at the beginning, someone who was scary, and then make that character sympathetic mm -hmm. somehow. Right. And so Tad that was Tad <laughs> took that character miles. She yeah. was, she was the. I mean, we had, we knew we wanted to do that with char with character, and then there was a point where she was in the writers' room at some point, and she said she told us that she thought Helena operated from a place of love, not hate. Mm -hmm. um, and for us, that was a light bulb for us, and we immediately were like, "That's how we that's how we mm -hmm. continue to turn this character is that she's she's he loves Sarah. She doesn't know why. She doesn't know how. Right? It's instinctive." Yeah, mm -hmm. that character. Now we've all talked it's about Tatiana. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's but, um, we've all talked about Tatiana. How amazing she is. How much work she puts in. My thought is that poor girl. I hope she doesn't burn out after season two. I mean, these have yeah. to be such. I mean, she's young and has the energy. Bless her heart. Yeah. But I mean, God. how do you see this being sustainable for a long time? Considering. Well, uh, you mean from from uh, from her point of view, just being able to manage all the yeah, the demands that are put on her as an actress. For she actually went crazy. <laughs> well, <laughs> multiple personalities. It was, it was hard. Season one was hard. Yeah. It was hard on a lot. Of, it was hard on her. It was hard on us. It was. It was a lot of long hours. And we have a really good supporting cast that mm -hmm. we're going to lean on a little more. I, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that's the thing. Now that the, we sort of set up the world and we have a, and we have some cool support. Our, our supporting cast is. We want to develop those some of those storylines a little bit more. Give her a little bit of a break. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you know, much as we all love you know to the this public's behind and you're making this, you had no idea if we'd watch or if anybody no. would. So putting all that hard work into something, you know, you know it's going to pay off. Do you feel like you can open up a little bit more now that you know the public? We embracing it? a little bit, but it is a clone show. Like well, it's you hard know, because we never get it. And it's you know we're tr you know we're just we're trying to make some 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 side storylines that we're excited about. But it's stuff because we all just want to make look at clones, right? We just all want to watch her. <laughs> I think so it's probably a, uh, not too much of a season two spoiler to say we love uh, Mrs. X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Maria is awesome. Uh, Maria is she's a great great actor and really fun to work with. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, she's got some. She's got some secrets. surprises. She's got yeah. some. Yeah, so, so yeah. I was wondering if the other actors were like, oh, we get some screen time. She's on out now. Five of them are in every scene. Come on. So, speaking of the supporting characters, Felix. Obviously, everybody yeah. loves Felix, yes. and he's become. He's gone from just being Sarah's support group to kind of being the rock for the whole, all the clones. Yeah. Now, was that intentional from the beginning, or was that something that Jordan brought to the character and? sort of developed? 
Well, we knew we were going to put him and Allison together, but they mm -hmm. were magic. That was season, that's that episode they're nine. That I hilarious. Know. They're episode amazing. Episode nine is so good, right? Yeah. Felix and Allison is a fantastic Yeah, spot. you really got to hand them credit. Mm. Um, they have great chemistry, and that chemistry began... I mean, one of the things that really locked the, the roles for both of them was a chemistry read in the audition process where mm -hmm. we put those two together. Mm -hmm. And we could see it then. We could see that they had this great bond um, yeah. and this great sibling rivalry. And John's always said, Felix is the sister and Sarah's the brother. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I totally love that, Sarah, because I'm an older brother, so I know what it's like to stick your foot in someone's face. <laughs> and, and Tat's an older sister. She's uh -huh. the oldest, too. So... That dynamic was was really fun there, and just the way that they could take that relationship, twist it to Allison and, and Felix, mm -hmm. and for Felix to yeah just to embrace. His but but it's fun to see Felix with with the other girls too, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. I think that one a relationship that we want to develop a little bit more in season two is Felix and Casima. I'd love mm -hmm. to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of. Yeah. So it's that's that's definitely because uh, Kasim is now in town. So mm -hmm. uh, you know we we the last we saw her, she was kind of at, at Felix's loft, and we kind of like that vibe a little bit. So we'd yeah. like to see those those two play together a bit. It's their back cave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. hey, last one. Last one. Um, so who's your favorite clone? <laughs> no someone's gonna ask it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I th I think for me my favorite clone has always been Allison because mainly because I think for for me I wanted to make sure I, like for me tonally the show I wanted it to be funny mm -hmm. like I wanted to know that I was you know you're gonna make a clone show for the love of God don't take it too seriously you'll, you'll just sink like a rock <laughs> you gotta like you're gonna make a clone show let's have fun with the yeah. fact that we're making and. That Allison, Allison as a character was sort of, to me, in my mind, modeled a bit after my sister. How does she feel about that? I don't know if she knows that. How do your sister? Yeah, I get emails from her all the time. Anyway, so I, the thing about Allison is that we always just laugh all day long yeah. shooting that character, right? All day long. <laughs> so that's that's one of the best things about her. Who's your favorite clone? I, uh, my favorite clone is Cosima. Mm. Um, I just think she's, uh, you know, you never, you never get to see a good hippie on TV. <laughs> And like she's, she's the hippie? funky. I, I think she's she's from Berkeley. She's like West Coast. She, she is like the funkiest kind of hippie chick out there. You know, she's the new hippie. She's a rave hippie. Right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm from Vancouver, from the West Coast. I know those people. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. Um, and I date them. And I just, <laughs> <laughs> um, just wanted to make a clone that you could date. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but the, uh, you know, and the, uh, like the base of that character, and, and this is why, really why she's the, <coughs> my favorite character, is that our science advisor on the show, Kasima Herter, is an old, old friend of mine, and, the, and from the very beginning when we started talking about human cloning, I would talk to her, and she's like brilliant, a really brilliant, um, uh, she's now doing her PhD in the history of science at University of Minnesota, where else? So she comes two or three times a season, sits down with the writers, and we just, we can throw science at her. And, and, she's, and with the actors. And she's, with the actors. The, the whole actors crew. She, she gave cloning one-on-one lessons. Yeah. And... She was at and, a rap party, like she's just she's part of our crew. Yeah. So, so, and when it came down to that to that um, you know time where the, the character had been called Casima throughout, I was like, okay, we're actually making this. Do you want me to change the character name? She says, don't you dare! <laughs> <laughs> like my, it's like my postmodern moment. Like you have to like go through with it. Yeah. And and um, oh and this this check this out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is we have all these great fans. And so this was a bit of fan art, and I just I, I was like, I want a cool T-shirt before I go to Comic Con. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool, yeah. eh? That's pretty awesome. Yeah. 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 Thank you, guys. Thank you. Can we get a picture of you guys together? Sure. sure. Yeah.